hello guys and welcome back so today I'm making a quick video only because one I'm starving two I just realized I didn't review these with you I honestly don't think I've had these before but I guess we're gonna have them together today and review them but we are gonna have the ultimate plant-based chicken sandwich from Gardein now the um, other day we tried their chicken patties from Gardein and we liked them. Wasn't too bad. We're going to try the chicken tenders. Now, right off the bat, I really like these because it has more inside than the Impossible. Um, not the, was it the Impossible Nuggets? No, I didn't try the Impossible Nuggets yet. Can't find them. If you're able to find them, let me know and we'll work something out on me getting them from you. No, the Beyond Nuggets, I actually do like those, but they only come with six and a resealable bag. This has a resealable bag, but it already, it already comes with more than six. So, I hope I like these. But we're pretty much going to cook the whole bag because we're hungry. And I decided to make some potato wedges with it. So, we're just following the directions. I'm putting it on the thing. Because as you heard that beeping, my oven ready. And I got a call in 10 minutes. So we're going to have to do this review. And then, or cook my food while I'm on my call. And then hop off, finish my review, and then hop back on. Anyway, so that's what we're going to have to do. So, already, I get three more nuggets than the Impossible Nuggets, which is a plus. So what I'm doing is following the directions says preheat oven to 450 put in a non-stick baking sheet which is what i did i didn't spray the sheet oh well cook to 16 to 18 minutes flip once halfway through so that's what we're gonna do and then we gotta make the potatoes so the potatoes takes longer to cook what it seems like so i'm gonna peel wash and cut and season my potatoes and we'll be back for review time i see ya in a few all right, my potatoes are still cooking. I took the tinfoil off of them, seasoned them real nice, and I put some vegan cheese on it. I think the cheese was from so, so Delicious. So Delicious. So Delicious Mozzarella Strands. Anyway, I had to hop off my call so I could try this chicken while it's still hot. So we're going to have to heady up. So, I like it. It tastes better than the chicken patties that I had the other day, which is a plus. It doesn't taste as cute. With gardenes, no. These ones, I like them a lot. With the Beyond the no. With the Impossible Meat, no. That was right the first time. With the Beyond the Meat. I don't know, when you take a bite out of it, it tastes like the imitation chicken. Like, I can't, I can't describe it. Maybe I'll buy this one and that one and do a review back to back. But I just have the impossible, um, not the impossible, the ground. I can't fucking speak. I'm trying to have you up so I can go back in the corner because I'm hurrying up and messing up, so I apologize. But the Beyond the Meat. I guess I'm going to have to try it in the oven because both times I made it in a microwave and it was like, I don't know. It tasted like chicken. It gave me chicken flavor, but it was just like, it tasted like ABC, not ABC me, just regular processed chicken nuggets that I've had before. Like the school chicken nuggets. Like, you know how when the chicken nuggets from school, it just tastes off. Like it's good. You can eat it, but just sometimes it's like, what is this? And that's what that was. Um... So, maybe I'm going to try it. Next time I'll get it, I'm going to try to remember to buy this one too. And so, I could compare both of them back to back. And then maybe I'll try to make that one in the oven. Because I think with that one, I've made it. No, I think the first time I cooked it, I did cook it in the oven. I'm going to have to rewatch my own video. But, no, I think I may have microwaved it. I know I've had a microwave then because I don't like soggy chicken or soggy anything from the microwave. That's probably what threw it off. So this one does taste better, like more like chicken. It doesn't give me that weird soggy taste that the um beyond meat does. So that's always a plus. I'm gonna definitely try the um 
get both of them, cook them both in the oven, and we'll see. Hopefully, I can find the Impossible Nuggets, and then I can do a review on all three. Gardein has other nuggets besides the Ultimate ones, and I like the Ultimate ones better than the regular ones. I do like the regular ones, though. I'm not going to lie. But I definitely like these better than the Beyond Chicken. I'm not sure if that's because I microwaved it or not. So we're definitely going to have to redo that review, but I got to go. I need a sauce. I'm gonna make sure I put some barbecue sauce on it. Other than that, I'm gonna finish chewing. As always, thank you for tuning in with me on the Really Picky Vegan. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, follow, subscribe, and share my page with your friends. Why? Because you never know who's truly interested in what us vegans can eat besides a salad. Until next time, guys. Bye. Now I gotta go back to my call.